Hey, hey there everybody, welcome to yet another super random out of nowhere video of mine. And in this video as you can see, I am using the uh, Lenovo Legion Go. I received this yesterday on November 2nd, 2023. Ordered it from Best Buy, the one terabyte version. Good old FedEx delivered it, funnily enough, during my uh, lunch break yesterday. And uh, in this video, I just wanted to show you a very useful program that can be used to make older games and newer games that do not like portrait screens to one in full screen mode. The program is called Magpie, very simple, um, has a lot of different upscaling options, uh, and you can check that out yourself. Um, I just have it on the default settings right now. Um, scaling FSR, blah, 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 just simple settings. Um, and an example of a game I'm going to use is uh, Borderlands. When I was playing Borderlands yesterday, uh, before I found out about this, thanks to a uh, Reddit user named Riven, R-I-V-V-I-N is how their name spelled. They mentioned this when I mentioned to another user about uh, DXWND. Magpie is definitely better than that. Oh, freaking fly flying around. Um, because it actually properly full screens the game. So, for example, uh, yeah, again, uh, Game of the Year Edition Borderlands was not going full screen. And it was just crashing, complaining about file name not found with the Borderlands.exe. And as you can see, uh, also Magpie can run when window starts in the background minimized. So you'll see here, um, game actually launches. You can see for a brief second that little uh, white part of the what would have been if it was windowed in the corner up there on the left. Uh, that would usually show after a few seconds it would then show the error before, but as you can see Magpie makes it full screen. And also as you can tell, I'm using um, Afterburner because the Lenovo overlay will not work with um, Magpie making the game full screen. I'm not sure why. It just will not show in the game. It will only show when you go back to the desktop. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, I uh, probably can't tell, but I uh, don't know how it will focus. I'm using my phone to record. I apologize about that. Uh, my HD60X would capture the game or the console, but um, games would crash even with Magpie. And yeah, the game's capped, uh, capped at 62 FPS. And as you can see, it's loading. And um, as you can see here, it actually works. So I will briefly launch another game. Um, I am wanting to get back into Sleeping Dogs. I have both the original and the definitive. Um, gonna play through the original first uh, I just haven't played it in years and I just missed the game so with sleeping dogs uh, it would launch in windowed and uh, windowed full screen but if you try to do full screen it would just sort of glitch um, let's see so as you can see with uh, magpie it is full screen but um, it's like not properly scaled. It still has those borders on the top and bottom, but that's whatever. Hey, it's full screen. That's what matters. So, um, yeah. I would play a little bit, but I forgot this game isn't uh, cloud save. At least this one isn't the original, so we'll not play that. And then what's another one I could briefly launch? Um, let's see. GTA 3 Definitive. I know a lot of people don't like this game, but I beat a GTA 3 Definitive um, not too long ago. Managed to beat it on PlayStation. I, no, I didn't beat it on PlayStation, did I? I beat it on Steam right here, but um, forget if I beat it on PlayStation. But as you can see here, looks like it's not starting full screen, but then it goes to full screen. And got to skip that. Okay. Um, looks like Afterburner is not running. I'm not sure why. Or maybe it takes a minute to start up. Oh, there it goes. So as you can see, um, full screen, 2560 by 1600. So it'll definitely help lots of games. Um, whoop. Uh, seems like any game that will have issues will run no problem. So uh, yeah, with that, uh, again, that is Magpie. Um, I will link the GitHub for the program in the description. And I highly, highly recommend it if you're using the Legion Go or if you're using Windows on the Steam Deck since that is a portrait uh, screen as well. So with that, uh, thank you for watching everyone. Um, it is currently Friday, so I'm going to try and work on videos tonight and through the weekend with this. Um, figure out how I can capture gameplay through my HD60X, but if not, I'll just use my phone because it works fine. But yeah, besides that, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.